name is Paula and this is my channel Unfiltered Glow where I will be discussing all things skincare, glow and confidence. So today I'd like to take you guys through my skincare journey from high school until now. It's been quite an interesting journey, um, a journey of learning and discovery. So back in high school, I my skin was pretty much the typical teenager's skin. It was temperamental. I would have the occasional breakout on my skin, but nothing too dramatic. I had a little bit of scarring because I used to pop my zits. Um, but other than that, nothing out of the ordinary. In terms of my skincare regime at that time, I really didn't have a specific skincare um, system for my face. Whatever I used on my body, I also used on my face and that was pretty much my skincare routine. Um, whenever I would get a breakout, I would take Color Mind Lotion. Um, I don't know if you guys remember Color Mind Lotion. It is basically this pinkish white lotion that I would take and I would apply it on my pimples and it helped to dry out the pimples. Um, but otherwise, that was pretty much it for high school. So fast forward to Varsity, I get to Varsity and meet a lot of beautiful girls from all over. Some of them had amazing skin. Um, I also, I had a friend of mine who also has amazing, amazing skin, flawless skin. And I, I guess that's when I started becoming conscious of my skin. And I started becoming obsessed with skincare because I really wanted to improve the condition of my skin. And I guess I was comparing myself to other people at that time. Um, so I asked my friend what she was using for her skin and she told me that she was using Olay products My friend really was the first person I'd ever come across in my life who was using a three-step skincare system I mean she had a cleanser, she had a toner, she had a moisturizer and this was unheard of in my world at that point um, So I was quite impressed with that and I went and I bought myself Olay products I started using them Obviously they didn't work for me because I expected my skin to start looking like the way her skin looked which was practically impossible because she was just genetically blessed with amazing skin. So that didn't work for me. I started using other brands as well, trying out other brands, Nivea, Neutrogena, Garnier, I mean you name it, I tried it because I was so desperate to improve the condition of my skin. Um, at some point, I even tried Clinique, the Clinique three-step skin, uh, three-step skincare system, and that also that, to be honest, that worked for me. Um, I saw a slight improvement in the condition of my skin, but that, at that point, I was a student, and the products were expensive, and I couldn't sustain um, the the skincare regime, the routine, because it was just too expensive for me. Um, so eventually I went to a dermatologist and he prescribed oral and uh, topical antibiotics for me. He also gave me some medication to treat the scarring on my face. And I saw a great improvement in, in, the, in the condition of my skin. However, every time I'd finish a course of antibiotics, my skin would revert to its previous condition. So it just wasn't sustainable for me again um, because I it was just unhealthy for me to be on a course of antibiotics for the, for a long period of time so I couldn't keep using the antibiotics in order to maintain the condition of my skin so eventually I just gave that up um, so effectively back at Varsity I tried all sorts of conventional methods of getting rid of acne and I was unsuccessful so by the time I left Varsity my skin was in absolutely horrid condition I and my self-esteem was at rock bottom so yeah that was my journey um, back at Varsity so come first year of working I met a colleague of mine who has amazing skin as well um, and because I was so interested in skin and it's like literally the first thing I noticed about people it was their skin and so I went to her and I said listen you've got amazing skin what are you using what are you using on your skin and she was very honest with me. She told me, listen, Paula, I think I was just genetically blessed with great skin. So I effectively just won the lottery of gene the genetic lottery of skin. And so there's nothing special that I'm doing to treat my skin. Um, and But she was helpful enough to tell me about a friend of hers who had a terrible skin. And 
and had gone to a dermatologist who had prescribed a product called Roaccutane and that product had helped her. So obviously now I'm intrigued because um, I want to find out what is this product, what's this product called Roaccutane. So she told me to go to a dermatologist and, and to speak to a derm about it. So I went to a dermatologist. Um, this is a, now a different dermatologist to the one that I used back at Varsity. I went to a dermatologist. I told her about my skincare journey. She took my history. Um, and because she realized that I'd used um, many conventional um, treatments for acne and they hadn't worked for me, she was comfortable enough to prescribe her Accutane. Um, so for those who are not familiar with Roaccutane, Roaccutane is actually the brand name of the product that I use. The actual product name is isotretinoin um, and it's a vitamin A derived oral treatment for acne um, and it's typically prescribed for really severe acne. So some dermatologists might not prescribe it if your, severe, your acne is not severe or you haven't tried other conventional um, acne treatments they might not prescribe it for you because it's really an intensive treatment um, and it's got it's got a lot of side effects for some people um, and quite severe side effects in some cases so some dermatologists are really careful about prescribing it for people with um, acne that's not um, too severe so anyway my derm prescribed for Accutane for me she put me on a six month course of for Accutane I started taking it and in the first month of me using the product my skin flared up my acne got far worse than my skin was terrible guys it was in horrible horrible condition because my dermatologist had warned me that my it was possible that my skin could flare up before it got better I was prepared for it I just wasn't prepared for the the pain and the inflammation and just the severity of it I was not prepared for that but I, I, I was aware that um, it was possible that my skin would get worse before it got better so anyway I, I over time after about two months I started seeing an improvement my skin calmed down the inflammation calmed down um, and my skin started improving and after six months of treatment my skin was in great great condition um, even some of the scarring had cleared. I, I only had a little bit of scarring left So it didn't clear all the scarring, but it cleared a lot of it and I was happy with where my skin was finally um, So I guess for me Roaccutane was the first miracle product for my skin the first thing that truly truly worked and changed the condition of my skin for the better so after my journey on Roaccutane, I started doing a lot of research on skin and skincare, different skincare products and technologies because I was really paranoid. I didn't want my skin to go back to its previous condition. So I needed to make sure that I knew how to maintain and even improve the condition of my skin because as I said, when I got off Roaccutane, I still had a little bit of scarring left um, and so I needed to learn how to improve the condition of my skin over time and how to treat my skin well so that it doesn't revert to its previous condition. So what I did is I went online, I started reading article after article after article on skincare. I even went so far as to read journal, um, rather articles rather in medical journals. I mean, that is the level of paranoia. Um, that I had at the time. I really wanted to make sure that my skin does not revert to its previous condition So I read a lot of articles online. I started even following some skincare and beauty bloggers So one amazing resource that I found while doing my research online is Caroline Hirons Now Caroline Hirons is a beauty expert slash blogger slash youtuber and she has amazing product recommendations and on her blog I found a set of guidelines um, for different parts of the skincare routine and I started using those guidelines to develop my own skincare routine um, so obviously over time I refined and customized her guidelines in order to suit my skin because my skin because I've learned how my skin behaves over time and I now understand my skin and I understand what it needs at different points 
so my skincare routine also changes uh, quite frequently so it's, n it's never the same from month to month um, because you know your skin is a living ever-changing organ it'll change based on various factors in your life it'll change based on your hormonal cycle based on the climate based on you know whether you spend your the majority of your day in an air-conditioned office or not based on your diet there's so many things get, that can impact the condition of your skin so it's about going on the journey and learning how your skin reacts and behaves and customizing a routine that works for you and trying out different products so another great resource for me has been k-beauty bloggers um, so k-beauty is the Korean beauty revolution that has now effectively become a global um, phenomenon and I have a lot of k-beauty products uh, Korean products that I incorporate into my skincare routines um, and unfortunately a lot of these products are not available in South Africa so I have to order them online and have them shipped to South Africa and it, it, it can get quite expensive because of the shipping and the customs charges but it's an investment in my skin that's how I look at it um, I'll, when, when I take you guys through my skincare routines and all the products that I use you will see that I, I do use a lot of um, Korean products as well in my skincare routine so yeah guys that is my skincare journey it continues it hasn't stopped um i keep trying different products all the time i keep you know doing a lot of reading on different products different technologies that are available out there um and what i would really like to say to you guys is that if your skin is in a bad condition there is hope um, if there are two things that I would like you guys to take away from it personally um, and that I hope to achieve with this video is that one, if you've got acne um, or if your skin is not in a good condition or in a, the condition that you would like for it to be in, there is hope. Don't despair. There are solutions. Um, there are so many different products and treatments and technologies available to you. All it requires is an investment of time and energy and effort on your part. The second thing that I would like you guys to take away from this is that you are not defined by how you look. So acne is a real condition. Um, I know that some people trivialize it, but it does have a real psychological and emotional impact on some people. It can affect your self-esteem and your self-confidence. And I know because I've been there. I've been on at that point where my self-esteem was at rock bottom because of how my skin looked. But I want you guys to know that you're not defined by how you look. And the Bible says that you, God himself knitted you in your mother's womb. He made you. He, you were fearfully and wonderfully. So don't let how you look affect how you feel about yourself. I know that sometimes it's hard. I know that sometimes on days when you don't feel pretty, on days when your skin is acting up, on days when you've got a breakout, um, it may feel like it's the all-defining aspect of who you are, but it's not. What defines you is your character. What defines you is what is on the inside of you. So as, in as much as you take the time to take care of your skin and to invest in learning about your skin and developing a skincare routine, invest also in your soul, in your spirit. Invest in cultivating a good character. celebrate God's sovereignty and creativity in designing and making and creating us you are uniquely you and you are uniquely beautiful and so just in case you guys are wondering I'm not wearing any makeup I won't wear any makeup for this channel uh, just because I want you guys to see my skin in its um, natural form um, besides the name of the channel is unfiltered glow after all so I want you guys to see me unfiltered 
I want you guys to see the real condition of my skin um, the only thing that I will put on and that I do put on on a day-to-day -day basis is mascara and lipstick thank you so much for joining me on this journey you guys thank you so much for watching the video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and please 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 subscribe to my channel um, I will try and put up a video every week either on a Tuesday or a Wednesday I haven't really decided which day works best for me but I will try and put up a video every week so do check it out check it out next week I will be talking about um, my cleansing routine so please do check that video out um, until then I love you guys stay moisturized and stay blessed Mwah.